And you know what they call uh, a quarter pounder with cheese uh, in Paris? They don't call it a quarter pounder with cheese? Oh, man, they got the metric system. They wouldn't know what a quarter pounder is. What do they call it? They call it the Royale with cheese. Royale with cheese. That's right. If you're looking for a quarter pounder with cheese, you could try looking in Liberia, Myanmar, and the United States. These are the only three countries in the world who have not yet formally adopted the metric units as its system of measurements. You might think gas is a lot cheaper in Europe, but that's a little misleading because in the US, gas is sold by the gallon, whereas in Europe, it's sold by the liter. There's roughly 3.78 liters per gallon, so the prices come out roughly the same. Distance is expressed in meters and kilometers in Europe, whereas in the US, we still use foot, inches, and miles. And then when you get on the road, you might think it's crazy in Europe, they allow speeds of up to 130, but they're really talking about 130 kilometers per hour, which works out roughly to 80 miles per hour in the US. In the US, if you wanna express weight or the mass of something, you might wanna use pounds, grams, tons. But in Europe and the rest of the world, they've simplified the system and they use just grams. The problem in the US is our system of measurements is extremely cluttered. When we want to talk about length, mass, and volume, we'll use a mix of imperial units as well as the metric system. So it causes a lot of confusion for people living in the United States. Now, for the rest of the world, if they want to talk about length, they'll use meters. If they want to talk about mass, they'll use grams. And if they want to talk about volume, they'll use liters. And the beauty of the metric system is that it's a base 10 it's based on the power of 10 and they'll use greek prefixes to denote how big or how small those units might be so this is something i'll explain later on but i think it's a lot cleaner and it's less cluttered than the system of measurements that we use here in the u.s you need to have a basic feel for each of these units before i start teaching you how to convert in the metric system so when you talk about length, the base unit for length is the meter. And the meter was originally defined as one ten millionth the distance from the North Pole to the equator. Nowadays, it's a bit more precise. It's defined as one three hundred millionth of the distance that light travels in a second. So to give you a visual, a meter is roughly three feet, three inches. So it's a tiny bit longer than a yard. Okay, it's roughly three feet, just to give you a visual. As for mass, the base unit for mass is grams, and it's defined as the mass in one milliliter of water. So what that means is if I take a graduated cylinder and I measure out exactly one milliliter of water, and then I pour that water onto a scale, the mass of that water would weigh exactly one gram. But to give you a visual, I have listed a few things that weigh about one gram there in the lower left corner. And my personal favorite is the, the US dollar bill, which weighs roughly one gram. The liter is a little bit trickier to define, but the formal definition is you have to imagine a cube that is 10 centimeters on each side or each edge and that would be roughly the size of a liter. So to give you a visual, I have some herbs from the kitchen. This is oregano, leaf oregano. So this thing is roughly 10 centimeters right here. And later on, you'll learn that 10 centimeters is the same as one decimeter. So imagine you have a cube that's 10 centimeters, you know, length, width, and then height. Okay, and so imagine a cube that's about this big around the oregano. Okay, that's roughly one liter. Or to give you a better visual, imagine a two liter Pepsi or two liter Coke sitting in your fridge right now. Just cut it in half. Okay, that's roughly the size of one liter. So if I asked you to shape with your hands, you know, a two liter Coke would probably be like this big maybe. So one liter is exactly half of that size. So that's about one liter right there. Okay, it's, I don't know, it's a little bit bigger than your fist. Okay but uh, not as big as a basketball, definitely not. It would be like this big, probably. All right, I think you're more familiar with the metric system now, or at least you're aware that the entire world uses a system of measurements that is less cluttered. Now, in part two, I'll go over the Greek prefixes and I'll teach you how to convert metric units. I'll see you there and we'll win some more chemistry.